Hey Sag, it's me, Brandy from Torianai.com. That's all in the description box. Tons of things for you to choose from on my site. This is uh, the rest of July leading into August for you of 2022. All right, Sag. Recent past. Oh, there's two there. Current from past. Near future from all of that. And our crowning energy for the whole reading is the lovers. Okay, this is about choices. What path are you going to do? Maybe juggling too many things. Okay, you see like she's hiding something under her skirt tail. <laughs> I mean, that's what that is. Like got something up her sleeve. Um, love, intuition, choosing a different route. Yeah. Anyways, it's expressing yourself and not hiding it. Let's put that there where you unguard yourself. Yeah. It's like bringing out, showing out, showing out your inner self so that you can actually influence and affect uh, the subtle changes uh, that are in your control for the future. Little miss, where are you? And why are you crying? I have a rogue kitten like always. But kitten kitten. Um, this is like, what identity do I want to show? This is the crowning energy. What identity do I want to show? What path do I want to show? What, you know, am I going to lose the respect um, uh, of people that I, I've already created this bond with? But I feel this is very beneficial, especially as the crowning energy, okay? Um, things always disappear in our life and it's usually at the right moment so we can open ourselves up to something different. You understand? Um, whether that's a friendship, a, a new business contract, um, family. It's more the larger picture that inspires us, okay? That is your crowning energy. From the recent past, we have the sun. The sun is all about children. It's a yes for me. It's the summer months, right? Um, it's love. It's romance. It's creativity. But I really like the image in this. It's almost like I'm almost here is what I want to say. I'm almost here. That is the figure showing up there. You know, hey, I'm almost here. kitten. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's sad. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, this is uh, coming out of a very, um, I don't know, confused time, especially with the identity up here, which stood out to me. Okay. It is your energy getting a boost, right? It's supporting your growth. Uh, getting more sunlight is always a clear sign of the sun, by the way. Maybe even uh, afflicted with the uh, wintry spectrum, even though it's summer. Well, some of us. In America, it's summer. But this is definitely going and getting out and getting um, some sun. Because the sun, eat the sun. I've always said, eat the sun. It's like there's more clarity uh, with the confusion whenever you look up into the sun. Um, brings some joy. Just gives good health. It's very energized and it's always a yes for me. Things will work out. Like I said, this is just, if you, if you're absorbed in the absence of someone, okay, or afraid that someone will leave you if you go do what you want to do, that's bringing some heaviness and again like i said people come people go and we have to grow we can't stay stagnant okay current from this you have a, uh, all major arcanas right now we have the emperor okay the emperor is all about knowing exactly what they want they are the ruler they defend their loved ones they maintain stability of their home and their selves you know they get respect and this is what you're supposed to do 
no matter what choice you make right now, Sagittarius. This is running your own business too, okay? It's, mm, maybe you're scared of the family disowning you or something. That's definitely here um, because they've always been your person that you could rely on because it is a masculine energy. No matter what, uh, they always are a masculine energy. But this is to agree, to maybe disagree and do your own thing. It's not harm. It just, you know, what conscious action can you take to accept that you want to learn to stand on your own? You want to create an establishment for yourself. <sighs> it is definitely on the precipice of getting the clarity that you are needing right now and someone may not want to play by the rules or obsessed with the rules but you have to bring attention to what it is that you are wanting okay um if you're looking to be a father this is a this is a big yes for me you could possibly be twins too right uh, if you're wanting to be a mom that's definitely here as well um, you just have to make sure you're consistent because I feel like someone might be trying to avoid responsibilities of who they want to be, where they want to go, what they want to do. Because the whole identity thing, again, if that's not your dream, that's not your dream. Um, near future, based off of this, okay, you're going to have arguments. Someone's not going to be in your benefit. This is a no-win situation. This is knowing when to... <laughs> yes, Stella. Yes, baby. This is knowing when to just wave the white flag. Like, you're not going to get anywhere with this person of you choosing yourself or this idea. And it's not the right time. Whatever. But this is more like you have ideas. And you've been juggling the two aspects for someone else. Home, family, work. And you know what you want to do, but they don't back you. And that's where the identity comes in. Okay? That's where your identity. Because you're... Energy has been, I just see a half scratch, um, all over the place. And as you see, she's standing in the muck, right? The clouds are behind her. She is out for blood no matter what you say, no matter what you do. They're not going to see it the way you want. That's what I get. It's a lot of four cards, right? But there's something major going on here about your identity. You getting your excitement back right you getting what you want whether that's a baby a family but someone is very exactly pessimistic and their negativity is going to damper your enthusiasm which i believe has anyways you're growing you know those those thoughts are running rampant on what your opportunity your opportunity for a, a new start for yourself okay this is a cycle right so now would be the time, females, if you're wanting a child right now. That's your opportunity. That's a business. Okay. Okay. That fell out. You guys didn't see that. This is letting go of the old. And look, the sun is trying to switch positions with the moon. It's one enclosure. To close that out, we, we need to... We need to move along if we want to be successful in our own ventures and stand up for ourselves. We need to communicate that. That is career. That is seeking support. That is leaving the other. This is a yes. This is giving you a second chance in life. Okay. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio. Okay. I release transformation and death, magic, sex, reflection of the shadow self, and a shared asset. So you could already be with a partner. They don't want to go the same route as you. And you guys are going to have to, uh, well, you're going to have to split things up and go your own way. Like I said, you can't sit around waiting for other people. Uh, right, but that's going to be super hard for you because they've fed you all their dark thoughts. They have definitely put all their pessimistic attitude on your venture. And that's creating anxiety, sadness, mental illness is exactly why you need to go eat the sun. Maybe that's why you're having issues getting pregnant because, well, that's a whole energy too. 
throws our whole uh, reproductive system off. Right. Needing a course correction with clear intent to change the habits. Okay. You already know what you need to do. But you're letting someone else's attitude or the fear of what they'll say, um, abandoning you. They've always been there, whether that's family or whatever. And that's the problem. Because success is going to come from you creating the system, you creating balance in your life, and you choosing yourself. One more. Yup. This uh, flipped out on top here. Money is the focus. Financial abundance is coming. Your design, what you're desiring is coming from your hard work, but you need to only do your things is what stands out to me. Only yours. Because I feel like it's been all over the place. You're trying to be two people, please. Two businesses. Uh, too much going on, Sag. Way too much going on. Karina Bobina, if you watch, I felt you just now. All right. Give me some words. Clear this up. Okay. Dearest you, are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to take a little break from all of that and start having fun. I shit you not. When you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. We just need you to let go a little. We need some room and it gets very inspired when you laugh and have fun. When was the last time you got silly and goofy? Maybe you need to go dancing or watch a funny comedy or call the person you know will remind you how ridiculous you are and make you laugh. Okay. You will return refreshed, renewed, and ready to once again see the world less daunting. And you'll be ready to receive that bounty you've been working on. My goodness. Again, folks, like, share, subscribe. Go visit me at ToriAndI.com. And I'll see you later.